We're back with a little bit more yeah. board game news. We're going to try to do more of these news pieces whenever we can. Whenever uh, those news worthy. And of because it. of this guy right here is why we're doing this news piece. I mean, me too, I guess a little bit, but not like him. We're going to be talking about Lorcana, yes. the next sort of release has been announced. Rise of the Floodborne. Rise of the Floodborne. I have to admit, the whole concept of Floodborne is pretty cool to me. I like the whole concept of like a very different take yeah. on the character. Well, we, we saw these Floodborne characters in basic Lorcana. If you're new to Lorcana, if you've never played it, you know it's a stable of Disney characters. And I, I kind of like how they kind of divided them, like your Storyborne, which are like very traditional renderings of the characters as they appeared in their original stories. Yeah. And then Dreamborn is like those characters, but with an artistic twist of like... Little twist. Yes, yeah, settings and appearances that may never have actually occurred in their story. And then Floodborn are just wildly... It's up to 11. Wildly different. You've got like Stitch as a rock star and just like all these... And like in the new set, we've got Cinderella as a, a warrior. Yeah, we've uh, got... Knight. So it's very, Belle very different. Belle as a hunter. Yeah. And Gaston looks like he's some sort of smart guy. Yeah, some, some kind I mean, of smart he's guy. he's teaching. Yeah, he's he's like he's a brilliant a villain. Yeah. Yeah, and so like the idea of these Floodborne characters um, have been in the game before and it kind of meets into the lore. Like the, the whole idea of Lorcana of you bringing these, you know, cartoon characters or story characters to life with these magical inks. And then the Floodborne characters were like, you know, it was a little bit of a mistake, a little bit of a mix up of the ink gave rise to these Floodborne characters uh, who offer very strong abilities and just very different approaches to the characters. Yeah, and like I said earlier, Ryan is definitely more of the Lorcana fan yeah, I'm, I'm than ready I am. For the new I did buy enough to try it. I might be good, we'll see. I am gonna kind of. I'm kind of getting caught up in this whole resurgence that's happening with things like Lorcana, One Piece. Yeah. Before it, I, I bought a bunch of One Piece because yeah, I watched the really live action and Netflix show, and I was like, ah, I'm kind of into these characters yeah. now. Spoiler alert: I don't know that I'm a big fan of trading I card mean, games. They definitely offer a different. The satisfaction derived from CCGs is very different than I think what you normally try 100%, to find. percent. I don't like building game. decks. I appreciate, See, I, love, I appreciate respect and kind of even it. think that I might like building decks, but I don't. When, I don't like doing it. When I see something like this new set, which contains over like 200 new cards. Yeah, a lot uh, of new cards. I, I'm looking through these cards and they've only spoiled. Uh, there's like, what, 10 to 15 you can go a find handful. We'll have out them there. floating around uh, the screen here. And I see these cards and I'm like, yes, my brain is instantly, instantly like, how can I slot these into some of the decks I've already got? How can I support some of these new combos and new synergies that you can find? Um, something cool, all the Floodborne characters have that shift. Yeah. So we're, we're introducing some new characters and shift lets you kind of get characters out earlier by playing them on top of your other characters. And so like now we have some characters that didn't have shift versions before are getting shift versions that make some of your base characters now a little better. So it's going to open up a lot of opportunities for deck building. Yeah, plus I think there's a new, at least as of right now, they've announced one new effect, which yeah. is resist. Yep. Uh, and cards with resist basically have built-in defense. Is that how it works? Yeah, you have like a damage reduction. Everybody has their health if you deal enough damage, but it's 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 not extra health. It's every time they take damage. So if you get a yeah. character with a lot of resistance, and I'm sure we'll see some items and some other things that can give resistance to characters, every time they take damage, it's reduced a little bit. Um, which is, can really help with, you know, some of these deck builds could really use that to kind of protect your characters and leave them alive a little bit longer. I think Resist does bring something that the game needed, which is your ability to kind of like tank it out there and just keep a character out a little longer and let them focus on uh, questing for lore rather than having to like constantly be challenging. And I will say things like Resist, when I look at the cards, don't get me wrong, I, when I see these powers, I'm like, oh, that's kind of a, yeah, cool, there's a power. Lot of cool Especially things. when a power and an effect really kind of weave in the theme of the character, that all pushes the right buttons for me. It's just that sitting away from the table, building a deck that's competitive yeah. is not my thing. You kind of have to know the, you have to know all the cards. Oh yeah, you have, you to, have like, to know all the cards. You have, you have to, to accept know what your the life's going to have. You have to know the metas. Like what are people currently running right now? Like what, All of what you're saying right now is just making me not want to play. See, that that is what interests me. Like seeing seeing how like, the meta is kind of, so we've seen very particular decks in Lorcana that have really been taking the highlight. Um, and there's a few in particular that, that everybody's playing. But I think that when a, we, we get 200 new cards added into the pool, which will bring it over like 300 and something cards now. Yeah. Because uh, the first set wasn't huge. So we're going to have a lot more deck building options. And I think the, there's going to be a lot more meta decks out there that people are going to be playing. So you have a little bit more freedom 
to, to play in a competitive setting. Yeah, and speaking of the first set, they did announce, Ravensburger, that they are releasing yes. the, a, a reprint of that, which for those of you in the community of yeah. trading card games knows that that's not common no it's not i mean but I, I think, think they, they under, underestimated the demand yeah, they underestimated obviously the demand, so they're sure. wanting to get more out there from where i stand again i'm kind of a a noob to that yeah. whole scene i think that's only a good thing it just gives more opportunity for more people to get some of those cards that they've been looking for more people a chance to experience the game sure. no, in its i think first it's a good I, I think it's a good idea I it think will upset it's... maybe some of the aftermarket situation going on with yeah, the so cards. The scalping prices maybe will drop hopefully i mean they'll only drop i would imagine i, don't I say know that just wait go up. don't pay those scalping prices yeah. especially with a new set coming in november uh, and also well this will not talk more about scalpers but they're also releasing a uh, special disney 100 edition of lorcana yes uh, this is specifically uh, collectors for collectors edition. i want this really bad he's definitely going to get he's when I we were talking about it, he's like, I might get that. I'm like, there's no way. I might get Ryan's two not and not this. open one. Uh, yeah, this has like a lot of cards with specifically different artists' renditions of these yeah, cards. Yeah, celebrate the hundredth anniversary with unique styles and whatnot. Um, and they're really, really nice cards. And I think they even had like the artist's yeah, signature, signature on, on them. them. Yeah, I mean, not cool. hand printed. I'm sure that they're yeah. printed. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention about the new set is it's going to include some characters that we haven't seen from properties that were oh, yeah. already yeah, in yeah. there. So like Winnie the Pooh well, and is going to be... Yeah, and new properties. But Winnie the Pooh is going to be in there. So it's yeah. Winnie the Pooh like the wizard. Uh -huh, it's um, pretty cool. Which is very cool. I think there was one like that for the queen. Yep, the evil queen. Um, and then also but new not... properties. Yeah, Raya and the Last Dragon. Raya and the Last Dragon. That. There's a few... Uh, uh, I got a card here. We've got Snow White, oh, Pinocchio, yeah. yep. The Great Mouse Detective, The Jungle Book, and then Raya and yep. the Last Dragon and Zootopia, oh, which... I'm excited for Zootopia cards. They, I don't think they've spoiled any Zootopia cards yet. I haven't seen any Zootopia cards. I think this also marks, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, the first instance of purely CG films being represented in the game. Yeah, because I, when I think of Disney it's, CG, a lot of it's Pixar. I don't know if they're going to do any Pixar stuff. Yeah, we'll see. Have they done any Pixar they stuff? They haven't done any Pixar stuff. I don't think but they have. They're gonna have to. Hmm. They have to get into that realm. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the sets they do ultimately starts to really dig into well Pixar and just more I of the CG stuff. I love Monsters stuff. Inc. Monsters Inc. A lot of Pixar stuff, but even some of the non-Pixar stuff like Wreck It Ralph. Oh yeah. Like there's, I mean. Well, there's a lot that they haven't. There's, a, and I think yeah. they're kind of. Like this announcement kind of shows or proves that they're kind of staggering out some of these properties. Like they're not just, we don't, they're, yeah. not, they're not giving access to every Disney movie. They're going to kind of. And it is a reminder when you see some of these properties, you're like, oh, wow, yeah, they have such a long yeah. list of things to tap oh, yeah. for some oh my gosh. time to come. Well, yeah, it, it concerns me, I'll say a little bit, that this launched in August and it didn't even really release until September for like mass retail. Uh, and now we're getting a new set in November. I hope they're not planning to do sets every two months going forward. Like you could think of this as like a release set and then like the first big set of the year. I don't want to see another set in January and then March. Like I, can, I won't be able to keep up with that. No, that would be a lot. So we'll see. I'm, I'm interested to see what the release schedule is going to look like after this set coming well, out. Well, speaking of releases, last bit, I promise. Uh, you had heard somewhere too that the second set when yeah. it comes out it's going to be available at the it's parks it's going to be available first. at the parks november 17th and you can get it and some hobby stores if people can get it early the actual like big uh, big retail release is not until like a few weeks later um but I see. i'm thinking about actually i'm going to try to go to the park and like see if i can be there launch day and get some more kana like if I, I like i was saying if he's I, got commitment towards this if i this can game. it'll be on the channel um <laughs> i didn't realize how hard it was going to be to find Lorcana. i might have considered waiting in the line I didn't because oh. I was like, I'll just get it at Target. But the way that scalpers have been standing there the day that the vendors come in and just buying entire boxes, of, it's been really bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Please don't do that. Don't please. Don't anyway, that. that's all the news we have for today yep. on this new Lorcana set. We'll be back again soon with more news. We're going to keep yeah. our eyes open for more board gaming news and try to bring up something yeah, maybe whenever every exciting week. Is happening. Whenever we can. Until next time, of course, make sure everyone has fun at the table. And we'll see you then.